Hi, this is Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob, and today I'll be answering you know, some questions that I was asked, uh, namely, which WatchGuard product do I recommend since I've mentioned it in previous videos. I've had a few questions about that, and uh, I happen to have a T15 with me, so I thought I would go ahead and show you what's in the box. So this is mainly an unboxing. If there's any questions, please put them at the end. So let's take a quick look. So this is one of the brands that I recommend for firewalls. The WatchGuard is uh, it's been uh, rock solid at all the clients that I've installed them for during the over the years. Uh, I still have clients that are still using XTM 25s and 26 models from way back uh, at remote and branch offices, for example. This model is really the smallest that they produce. Uh, I'd recommend it more for the home, so for the remote user. If you've got a very, very tiny office, a two-man shop type of thing, excuse the uh, sexism there, um, this would be a model that you could use. So, basically in the box, as I said, this is the smallest one they have, so you've got the power supply and the unit itself. And if you go to the model that I recommend really as the base is the uh, T35. It's uh, slightly larger than this. And the main difference is, to put it in a nutshell, is found at the back. So what you're gonna notice is that there's some lights and so forth here. What that equates to is the back. So this one really has fewer ports. So you've got your WAN port, and you've got two LAN ports, and this one here is a serial port. So this one you can't, uh, you're not going to be using for much more than monitoring or some more advanced features. So you're really limited at that point. If you go up to the T35, then you'll end up with four LAN ports. Um, keep in mind that if you have an environment where you have multiple ISPs, so if you have two internet providers, uh, going with a bigger model is, is definitely recommended. And then you could have uh, something called uh, round robin uh, or you could set it up basically as well that if one of your ISP is down that it will automatically switch to the alternate ISP so in a nutshell I mean, it's real easy to, to set up the WAN uh, port goes off to your provider and your internal LAN this unit can provide DHCP service so it can provide you with IP addresses for your internal use if you have an internal server uh, then, of course, I would recommend that you put the DHCP and the DNS on your domain controller or your local machines. So, that's really it in a nutshell from a hardware point of view. Uh, one of the limitations that you will find on this unit, being the smallest one, is you can have up to five users for VPN. So, if you were to set up remote users using SSL VPN, for example, uh, the hard limit is five. Even during the, this crisis with the virus, um, this unit will not be able to handle more than five. So it's not just a, a licensing uh, issue at that point. So if you want to get more, for example, you want to go to 25 and go to the T35. And of course, if you're a bigger organization, they, they are providing or they do have available rack versions of this. So that's it in a nutshell. Please visit us at www.ctobob.com. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Ask your questions below. And of course, please encourage us, help us out by subscribing. Thank you.